Superintendent David Chi and Police Constable Norman Anthony showed up this morning at the Orange Walk Magistrate Court for trial. Viewers may recall that both officers were granted and met a hefty bail of $150,000 each on September 20, 2018. The other two men, Mexican nationals Eli Figueroa Nunez and Azarias Manzano, who have remained imprisoned, were not present. The trial, however, did not proceed. Senior Magistrate Patricia Arana was informed that the police's prosecution attorney, Alifa Elrington, was on sick leave until August 30th. Attorneys representing Bochi and Anthony were also a no-show. Attorney Dickie Bradley was present on their behalf. The attorney for the police prosecution is unable to be present today and presented a paper confirming that situation. The situation is that I am holding brief for Leroy Bonner, who represents Officer Anthony, and um, David Chi, who is represented by David Morales. My understanding is that the Mexicans are seeking representation but they were not even brought to court today, which is, of course, unfair to them, especially because they are foreigners as accused persons in this very serious matter, and having been in prison for almost a year. They have a right to be present at their hearing, if it's even just to inform them that we were not able to start today because the prosecution had a small glitch. Under the circumstances and given the importance of the case, Bradley requested the adjournment date be as early as possible. Senior Magistrate Arana decided that the trial will begin on September 26th. Bradley says it is only fair that the trial gets underway soon, especially as it concerns the Mexican nationals who have remained in prison for almost a year. Our Supreme Court has started to stand up for the rights of persons who are protected by the Constitution that they are entitled to a fair trial within a reasonable time. And two years, three years, five years, seven years, ten years cannot be a reasonable time. So yes, if they don't get themselves ready the next time we come, I'm sure the lawyers will be pulling out the criminal procedure rules and pointing out to the magistrate who is very strict in relation to adherence to the rules by both sides. So that is an option that I am sure the other attorneys are looking at. Dalalaikal for News 5.